thousand steps. Is it really a magic number? Where did that number come from? Is it really needed? I decided that for the next two weeks, I will walk 10,000 steps a day to see how I feel and if I see a difference. The goal of 10,000 steps a day actually came from a Japanese marketing campaign when they developed a new pedometer. This was actually to get people to be a little bit more active. But is 10,000 steps really needed? I mean, it makes sense. You know, you need exercise for good health and physical and mental health. Um, and 10,000 steps, it really sounds great. And it's always been a magic number that I've heard. But now researchers from the University of Massachusetts actually conducted a study. They studied over 2,000 middle-aged adults who wore pedometers between 2005 and 2006. Over the next 11 years, researchers have actually determined that 7,000 steps or more gives you a better chance of premature death. But is that the only reason why we walk? You mean it helps with weight loss, creativity, and also mobility. So I decided to walk for the next two weeks for 10,000 steps or more to see how I feel. You know, a lot of people develop new goals during the new year, and one of mine is to be more active. I mean, looking back at last year, my activity was really low. I averaged anywhere between 3,500 to 4,000 steps daily. I mean, I gained some weight over the years and I'm feeling good about my health along with my body. I want to feel as good as I as my body has done to me. So I want to put it to the chest. For the next two weeks, every day, I'm going to walk 10,000 steps and I want to tell you at the end how I feel. I'm actually really surprised that I hit over 10,000 in just in, you know, an hour and a half of walking. So day one in the books done. I still have to go shopping and finish up a couple things and then we'll get started with day two. So total steps today so far is 12,353. So my goal today was 10,000 steps day one and I got quite a few steps in today. So um, in total... I have 15,473. This is not going to be one of those normal days that I'm going to have over 15,000. Um, it's just that I didn't work today, so I had the opportunity to actually go for nearly a two-hour walk. Um, but we'll see. Um, hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. I'm going to wake up early, um, go for a walk, uh, probably try to get in 30 minutes before my day starts, and then from there, um, get a couple steps in and walks throughout the day. And hopefully I can hit the 10,000 step goal. So today is day two and it is six o'clock. I went to the gym earlier today. However, um, I did more weightlifting exercises versus um, walking. So in total, I have about 8,000 steps today. I still have to get 2,000. I think I'm gonna take a short walk to get those extra 2,000 steps. It should take me less than hopefully 20 minutes to do it uh, before I call it a day. Um, but we gotta do it, day two. I did it, 10,000 steps done for the day. Day two and So it's around 7.15 now. Um, I was able to get my 10,000 steps done. I was actually gonna walk outside, but it started raining, so I had to go into my gym and go ahead and use the treadmill there. Honestly, I feel like I got a better workout with the treadmill because apparently I had it on a control that it increased the incline every few minutes. 
So I ended up at almost 5% incline um, after the 20 minute walk. So it was pretty cool. I mean, I got a decent workout. I went to the gym earlier. So day two in the books. So move on, on to day three. Currently, it is day four, and it's hard. I came to the gym in the morning, and I did about a 30-minute walk, and I only got about 5,000 steps. And now, I went to work, and now since my day's over, I looked at my watch, and I only had about 6,000 steps. So, my job is pretty sedentary. So I'm glad I've given an opportunity to go walking. So today I went to my gym at my home. So now I'm gonna finish it off with a 30 minute walk. I'm at minute 25 and then call it a day. So another day done, 10,000 steps in the book. So today is day four of me getting my 10,000 steps a day. So far, it has been disastrous. Um, honestly, I woke up early today. I made my breakfast and the intention was to go walking for at least 10 minutes before I left to work and that didn't happen. So now I'm sitting at the parking lot at my job and uh, <laughs> I really don't want to walk because it's raining outside. So hopefully, you know, during either my breaks or my lunches, um, I'll be able to get like a five or 10 or 15 minute walk throughout the day so then that way i will have less steps to take uh by the time i get off of work you know the hardest part is just knowing that you have those 10,000 steps to hit i think that if you made it a routine the 10,000 steps would kind of come naturally versus you know worrying about oh am i going to hit the 10,000 steps am i not am i you know how far behind am i at? how how long am i going to have to stay up you know things like that in order for me to hit the 10,000 steps and it's a lot harder when you know it's close to bedtime and you know that you haven't hit those 10,000 steps because then if you go for a walk, me personally, I can't sleep right after. So now it messes up with my sleep. So I'm gonna try to get these steps in as early as I can in order for me to go to bed at a decent time since I do have to wake up early. So we'll see how it goes. I'll catch you throughout the day just to let you know how I'm doing with the 10,000 steps for day four. So after my little walk at lunch, I have 43.69 when it comes to steps. I'm hoping that by the end of the day, I'll be able to have at least 6,000. It's been pretty hard, you know? It's just like today, I didn't really prepare this morning. And with the rain, it kind of messed me all up as well. So I'm ready to get my steps in. It's almost eight o'clock. Hopefully with the 10 minute walk, I'll be able to get my 1,800 steps in. So that way I hit my 10K for the day. Day four in the books, I got over 10,000 steps. Uh, so I'm excited. I failed to prepare, so I failed. So I should have gotten these steps done a lot earlier if I would have woken up early, gone for my walk before I headed out to work. Um, I think that's what's gonna happen tomorrow, but right now I gotta do my food prep for tomorrow and Friday. Day five in the books so 10,599 so I should have about 10,600 by the time I get home so today I decided to go to the Crystal Cove State Park to do my walk originally I started here which is where the south parking lot is and then I go to the very end which is over on this side and uh, altogether it's about five miles round trip wasn't one of those days that I really wanted to walk, but I knew that if I came out to a place that had a beauty, then um, I would definitely get my 10,000 steps. Down here, it's part of Crystal Cove State Park, Newport Beach, Crystal Cove, 
and they have a lot of uh, tide pools down here. Right now it's low tide, so as you can see, you can see a lot of the rock, especially on this other side. There's actually people down here um, that are probably looking for some sort of sea creatures or sea life down there. Day six in the books. Finished my walk with a beautiful day. So it has been a week with me walking 10,000 steps a day. Um, it's been hard, especially the mornings that I have to wake up super early to make sure that I get my walk in. Uh, however, I do like the way I feel afterwards because it gives me some energy. Um, and it kind of keeps me going throughout the day. I'm not constantly stopping and just resting all day or just sitting there, you know, watching TV. I feel like I'm accomplishing something. So week one down, uh, we start week two tomorrow. Hopefully it goes even better than the first week. A little bit over an hour ago, I only had about 2,300 steps. Now I have over 10,000 steps. Honestly, today was one of those days where I had so much other things to do. I did my food prep, I went to the supermarket to get everything done for the week to be prepared for Monday. Because you know, if you fail to prepare, prepare to fail. And I didn't want that. So I went ahead and finished my 10,000 steps. So week two, day one, all done. So today is day nine. I'm trying to get all my steps in early. I didn't go for a walk before work because I had to do a presentation this morning. So I went for a short walk during my break. Now it's my lunch time, so I'm trying to take another short walk and then I'm gonna go to the gym after work. Day number nine. Today's day 10, so I'm excited. The weather finally cleared up a little bit. So I'm gonna go for my walk uh, right now during my break time, and then I'll most likely end up finishing it off by the time I go to the gym tonight. Day 11, almost 11,000 steps, not bad. You know, I could honestly say that this is probably one of the hardest challenges that I've had. Only reason is because of time. It's very, very hard sometimes to fit in the 10,000 steps but I gotta do it and I'm excited to do it. So I did day 11, so here we go. Day 11, over 10,000 steps completed. Today is day 13. Uh, yesterday, day 12, was a total disaster. I, my goal was to get some workouts in during the day, um, which I did while I was at work. Um, and I got about 6,700 calories. I mean, uh, 6,700 steps. But unfortunately, uh, by the time I got home, I ended up cooking dinner. Then I ended up going uh, and doing laundry. Then from there, it just uh, died because I ended up going to sleep. So I did not get my 10,000 steps for day 12. Today is day 13, another day at it. I am gonna get my 10,000 steps. Today, no ands, ifs, or buts. And then from there, uh, we have one more day, day 14. So I'm excited. So I'm walking on my break. Uh, it is about 3.30 in the afternoon. And I currently have about 6,500 steps, so I'm excited that this afternoon, by the time I get home, I will be more than halfway done. Super glad that I was able to complete day 14, actually day 13, my bad. Um, and I'm super excited because I have one more day left, but I think I'm gonna pick up a bonus day since I missed yesterday. So I wanna make sure I have 14 full days of walking 10,000 steps. Today is day 14. Um, I'm on Crystal Cove um, State Park Trail, uh, trying to get all of my steps in all at one time. Now 
down. It's time to walk back. It's really cool. Trail, and you have the ocean and all the rocks. So it's really cool. headed back to our car. Um, we went up the little side of the bluffs through the sand, which was pretty cool. Um, you know, you get to see different things. Usually I just stay on the blacktop, but today we decided to take a trip down to the sand because it's been raining. So we were glad that we were able to see the waterfall. And now uh, we're at the top of the bluff again and we're headed back to the car. Day 14 complete, 12,078 steps. Started off at day 14, similar to day one. Um, I ended up going out uh, to make sure that I was gonna hit my 10,000 steps. Day 14, I'm super glad it's over, but I feel really accomplished, especially since it's not even noon yet. So, this is awesome. Decided to get an extra day in of 10,000 steps because I missed day 13. I only got like 7,500 steps. So I wanna make sure that I get my 10,000 steps all 14 days to give you an honest review. Bonus day completed. It has been two weeks already. I know I missed one day out of the 14 days, but I made it up on day 15. Um, ultimately, it was difficult at first, you know, just trying to get the hang of it, trying to figure out how is it that I could get as many steps as possible before my workday ends. You know, I ended up walking before work about 10 minutes or so. Um, during my break times and lunch. And by the time I got home, I had over 6,500, if not almost 8,000 steps already. So I only had a few, a few thousand left in order for me to finish. And about a thousand steps takes about nine or eight minutes or so. So it wasn't too much time that I had to make up. So how did I feel? Honestly, the very first few days, my legs were sore because I don't walk 10,000 steps every day. So trying to get up to the 10,000 steps, my calves felt tight, so did my, um, my shins. But over time, it went away and I felt better. You know, funny thing is, is that, you know, your Apple Watch knows so much about you and my resting heart rate ended up going from 68 beats per minute all the way down to 58 beats per minute, which is awesome. Also, my walking pace and my breathing while I am walking also improved because my heart rate while I was walking also decreased. So I thought that was great. Um, over the last two weeks, um, not only have I been walking, but I've also been watching what I've eaten. Um, and I actually did lose a little bit of weight, which is great. I mean, hey, I've gained some weight last year. So now this year, if I could take it off, it'd be great. 
However, my ultimate goal was not for weight loss. It was more for health and mobility. I want to be able to move uh, freely and well the older I get. I mean, I'm 43 years old now, and I want to be able to continue to move the way I currently move. So honestly, would I keep it up? I think in real life, it's it's not that it's easier, but I think that getting about 7,000 to 7,500 steps per day is more reasonable than 10,000. Usually walking isn't an issue for me during my lunch and breaks at work. However, when it comes down to it, those extra 2,000, 3,000 steps at the end of the day, sometimes when I go to the gym, I don't want to spend my time walking. I want to actually do more muscle building exercises and walking isn't for that. It's good for cardiovascular health, but I want to be able to lift weights. So in reality, will I keep up with 10,000? I would love to, but I think I'm heading more towards 7,000 to 8,000 steps per day and then continue on with more bodybuilding exercises, which is what I like to do when I go to the gym. Um, would I uh, recommend this for everyone? You know what, what I do recommend is to try to keep moving, honestly. Being a plus size woman, a lot of people think that we're lazy and we don't like to do anything, but you don't have to be that person. You could prove to people that you are as mobile as everyone else and feel good about yourself. If you feel good about yourself, then that's all that really matters because what other people say, it doesn't matter. So my my thing is be active, keep your body, body moving, be good to your body as your body has been good to you. I hope this inspires you to keep moving. I know that a lot of people have New Year's resolutions and I hope you're able to keep them. If not, just work a little bit at a time. I know to at least maybe double what you are currently doing or maybe just adding a thousand steps per week and just keep doing that until you're able to get the number that you really want. But is 10,000 steps really required? No. But if it makes you feel good, why not? Go for it. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell below as new videos do come out weekly. I place the video here that you might like. I also place my image here to make it a lot easier for you to subscribe by just hitting my image, hit subscribe, and you are all set. This new series of me being active and going outdoors, to uh, you guys could help me on my journey to find my fitness, and hopefully it'll inspire you to be a little bit more active in your life. So I'll see you guys in the next one and stay stylish, my friends.